Well, Adrian Orr might be asking us to cool our jets, but that isn't stopping Labor from splashing the cash across social media, dropping almost 200k on Facebook advertising in the past 90 days. Here is digital editor Finn Hogan on whether it's working and who's up and who's down online. Well, good morning, Rebecca. If we check in on our top ten, it's a two-horse race at the top between Luxon and Ardern, with Ardern just in the lead for overall best engagement on Facebook. But the race has tightened a lot since last time we checked in, and this is pretty impressive for Luxon since he started with far fewer followers than Ardern did. Ardern is also the only MP in this period we've looked at to lose followers. But you can't read too much into that because she's got two million followers overall, and a lot of those are made up of overseas fans who aren't following our politics closely. But still, overall, not a great sign. Jacinda Media has definitely faded. OK, maybe Luxon's got some work to do uh, internationally. So those are the leaders, Finn. But what about the parties? Well, again, National's probably going to be pretty happy here. They're comfortably in the lead in overall engagement. And relatively shockingly, Labor's actually dropped down to third place overall in overall engagement. First time that's happened in my memory. That leaves the Outdoor and Freedoms Party to slip into that second spot. Now, that really does go to show that that anger that motivated the anti-mandate movement hasn't actually disappeared. But, however, there's some big pinches of salt with this as well. Firstly, they're posting three times as much as National is each day, so of course you're going to see a bump in numbers there. And then the usual caveat here, clicks do not mean votes. Oh, well, OK, that's organic reach, but um, how much of this is paid for, Finn? Yeah, there's a colossal amount of money being spent on Facebook. The old Adrian Orr belt-tightening approach hasn't reached the social teams, apparently. Labour has dropped nearly $200,000 on Facebook ads in the last three months alone. Act not that far behind at just over 130000 But interestingly, if you look at National, they've spent under 20000 And it just goes to show that spending money on Facebook isn't always a wise investment. You can get the same results for free, provided you can see which way the winds are blowing politically and capitalising. Very good. And who does your final honourable mention of the year go to, Finn? Well, look, there could be only one, couldn't there, Rebecca? It goes to Elon Musk. I think that guy really took the Silicon Valley mantra of move fast and break things a little bit too literally. But I think the chaos at Twitter is actually instructive of a deeper problem for social media and tech. If you look at places like Meta, 70% of their stock value gone in the past year. Snapchat, down 80%. Everywhere you look, Amazon, Google, even Disney, they're hemorrhaging money and they're hemorrhaging staff. And particularly for the older forms of social media like Facebook, I just think the the golden age is well and truly over. The younger users are fleeing to apps like TikTok and to be real. Governments and users are both inherently suspicious now of the toxic effects on our culture and our politics. I don't know what comes next, but the age of endless money and endless growth is gone. Well, Finn, I can't let you go without mentioning Bo Peters, that wonderful chocolate lab, a wonderful companion to Winston Peters. Yes, rest in peace, Bo Peters. Winston's longtime companion has passed away this week. And I just think it's an interesting side effect of our politics online that we almost seem to know more about the pets of politicians than the politicians themselves. Like whether it's Paddles the Cat, Larry the Cat in Downing Street, Bo, Biden's dog, Major. It just seems this universal love of pets sort of cuts through the partisan muck in quite a nice way. And so I really hope that whatever ends up replacing Facebook at least holds on to that element. <laughs> Ben Hogan, thank you so much for your DigiPower rankings. Always a pleasure, Rebecca.